tank for real, for real. So today I want to talk about the top 10 reasons why everybody should have a YouTube channel. And I mean everybody from you, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, your cousins, your pets, your dogs, your fish, everybody. All right, so let's jump right into it. Reason number one. It gives you a way to document your life. So recently, this year, um, my grandfather passed away. And I kept saying for years before he passed that I wanted to do an interview with him. I wanted to get my camera and go to his house and just interview him for a couple hours about everything in his life. Um, he immigrated to the United States from England and he's had such a cool story. And I never got around to doing it. And I regret it so much. Um, my grandma's still around and I really need to do it for her before I'm saying that again, note to self. Um, but doing a YouTube channel, you are creating um, a document, a living document that all of the generations that follow you can go back and see, hey, this is what this person was like in their 20s, in their 30s, in their teens or whatever, you know? Um, and so it's just a great way to show your life. And I plan on YouTubing until the day I die or vlogging in some kind of way. And I just think it's a great way to really document yourself. Um, all right, reason number two, it improves your public speaking. Whether you wanna be into public speaking or not, everybody can improve in this area. Um, you might not think that YouTube counts as public speaking, but believe me, it does because you get scared. Um, as soon as you turn that camera on and you think about it going um, onto the internet, you start to sort of have that little panic attack like you used to have when you had to talk in front of your class in school. And the stronger those skills are, those help you with everything. So even if you're not looking into becoming involved in public speaking, even just negotiating if you're buying a car, negotiating with the salesperson, um, maybe you're at the store and just being kind of friendly to a stranger, whatever it is, it's going to help you. Reason number three. This might be the biggest reason. If not, if number one wasn't my biggest reason, I think number three might be. It grows your self-confidence. Um, like I said a second ago, if you don't think turning this camera on is scary, turn it on and try. Try talking for two minutes and all of a sudden you have nothing to say and you're like, what do I talk about? And, and that's just because we're scared to be ourselves. And so I always try to tell myself to act like I'm talking to my daughter and then it just kind of flows easier. I'm like, okay, I gotta remember she's on the other side of this. I'm literally doing that right now as I'm talking to you guys. Um, because then it's like, okay, then I can be myself. I don't have to fake it. I don't have to get all into this other character. I'm just gonna be myself and do what I do. Um, and another thing is, and this is still under the growing self-confidence, is we're often so worried that people are gonna, we're gonna get haters, right? We're gonna get those mean comments and we're gonna get rejected. I was actually just listening to, um, I think her name's Marissa Pierce or Pierre, and she was talking about how survival, reject, being accepted was part of survival because when we were tribal, um, you had to be part of a tribe, you had to be part of the community or they would like ostracize you and if you were ostracized or banished from the tribe, that meant you would probably die, you would probably starve to death because you're not part of that hunter-gatherer community. And so you're just left into the wilderness by yourself. And so it's in our nature to need feeling to be, the feeling of needing to be accepted is ingrained in our DNA. And so we're not wrong for feeling like that, but we're not in that hunter-gatherer state anymore. So we don't have to be afraid of rejection. It is scary, but you won't die if you get rejected. Will you ever get rejected? Yes fact of life yes but the thing that it does is you get over that first and does it hurt yes it does hurt but you get to a point where you believe in yourself so much that the negative comments just don't mean anything um, the haters just don't mean anything if you're doing this for the right reasons then the right people are gonna see it you're gonna attract the right people so um, it is hard to get over that but if you just remember you're doing this for you you're doing this for your family you're doing this for other generations, for future generations, then who cares about what a hater has to say? You know what I mean? And then you do it enough, you get good at it, you start feeling yourself, and then you're not you're not worried about that petty stuff because you know a hater's only hating because they ain't. They ain't. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm a hot mess. Okay, so um, 
Number four, and this kind of goes off of number three, um, it's, it's for self-help. The reason that I am YouTubing is for self-help. I'm all about evolving and um, growing in my personal life. And um, I love journaling and I love reading about spirituality and self-help type of stuff and business related things. And this kind of gives me a way to look at myself, how other people see me. Like I can kind of put on an objective lens and, or is it subjective? I always get those two confused. Please somebody leave a comment and tell me, is it subjective or objective when I'm looking at myself on like as a, like I'm the viewer, I'm going to see the video recorded and I'm looking at myself as a viewer would see me. Is that objective or subjective? Anyway, it gives me a way to put on that lens and um, just sort of say, okay, this is how other people are seeing me and kind of get out of my feelings, get out of my head um, and, and instead of thinking what they might be thinking, you know what I mean? And so, um, it's just, it, and then what really helps, what I really like is it kind of gives me a way to go back and look at my life and how I progress. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably notice I have a different background than I did. Um, that's because I've moved and here's a big thing on self-help. One thing with me is practicing being vulnerable. So I had this big fancy apartment, two story loft. I was living it up. Um, and I also own a business and I just... You know, I knew for a while that my apartment situation was not sustainable. It was really expensive. I had that apartment when I had my aerospace engineering job and it just it didn't make sense anymore because I was running out of runway with my company and my mom was getting ready to have surgery. She's having it next week and she needed me to come stay with her for three weeks to a month. Actually, now it's going to end up being six weeks. And so... I was like, hmm, this apartment situation is not sustainable. My mom needs me to come for six weeks. So I called her up and I was like, hey mom, what if I stayed longer than six weeks? Like, what if I just moved there? And that would give me like, I would pay rent. She's not charging me a lot. Thank you, mom. <laughs> and, um, and I could really um, focus on my business and not be worried about how I'm gonna sustain this apartment that is way too it's way too big for me it's way more than I need all I need is one room so literally right behind that background is my bed and no shame in my game you guys I'm I'm doing me and I know that I have a path to get to where I want to go and that feels so good and the old me and I'm telling you that because the old me would have been way too afraid to share that with you I'd have been all in my head oh I'm living with my mom I'm embarrassed I don't want to f all that okay we um, are keeping it real. We're making realistic goals and they're baby steps and we're achieving them one goal at a time. And that's the way that you get to the top. Um, so, okay, what do I have next? Um, oh, number five, it's a beautiful way to express yourself. We all have different personalities. You're one of a kind and it's just a, such a beautiful way uh, to, it's such a, it's, how did my daughter say it? She said it's, um, a, she called it self-expression, but I'm not saying it as eloquently as she did. So anyway, um, it's a beautiful way to express yourself. <laughs> and so, you know, I used to think I needed approval from people. Okay. I'm going to ask, what does this look? What is, I mean, it's so good to get people's opinion. I definitely asked her for her opinion on my background and I'm going to be adding some things here and there and whatnot, but um, at the end of the day, do you, do you just get on here and talk, even if you just talk about what you did today, even if you talk about what you're upset about. And here's another thing. This sort of goes back to what I was saying earlier. You don't have to make your videos public. You can make them private so that just you can see them and then you can end up, you know, passing those to your kids or whoever you could, you know, just so there's an archive of your life. Um, but it's such a beautiful way to express yourself. Um, and you're going to attract like-minded people. It is a very good way to, so if you're putting them out there in public, you're expressing yourself, your personality, the people that resonate with your material are going to be people that think like you. And it's just such a beautiful way to connect with people like that. Um, I, there are so many people that I'm excited to connect to. Um, you know, some of my top YouTubers are Russell Brand, Lisa Bilyeu, Jordan Peterson, although he gets a lot of flack. Um, He's very controversial sometimes, but he is a genius. Um, who else do I love? Sadhguru, um, Vitaly Golam, Ben Marcus is not a YouTuber, but I'm going to get him on here. I'm going to 
try to. Um, anyway, Martine Rothblatt, definitely. I hope I can get her. She's amazing, mind blowing. Anyway, so I'm, I'm going on tangent. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to connect with like minded people. Um, number seven, you can learn new skills. What skills are you going to learn? You're going to learn how to edit audio and video. And I would be lying if I told you that I just learned how to edit audio. I actually, if you have really been following my channel for a long time, you know that I used to rap. I still rap, um, just not as much as I used to. Not professionally, I guess. I'm definitely still going to be making some original music on this channel. Um, but I had my own recording studio for like 15 years and I've been editing audio. I've been, I was an audio engineer before an aerospace engineer. And so um, don't be mad if your audio doesn't sound like perfect. You can use the phone audio, it doesn't matter, but you'll eventually want to improve it so you're going to learn that skill. Um, video editing is a bish. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Um, I'm finally getting the hang of it where it's quick now, um, but it's um, it's painful, but I'll tell you what, once you get it down, it is so valuable. Um, I use Adobe Premiere because I have the amazing Adobe Cloud thing, Creative Cloud. I love it. Um, you get Photoshop, Premiere, and all those other good programs. They have, they have so many good tools. Um, and I'm also PC, so if I was a Mac, I would probably be using Final Cut Pro, but I'm using Adobe Premiere. So yeah, that's two skills. Oh, and you're going to learn lighting as well. So you're going to learn lighting, audio, and video editing. Um, number eight. This might be a big one for some people. You can make money. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Make money, money, make that mother money. Yeah, make money, money, make money, money, money. Make money. Okay, that's from a song I did a long time ago. Um... Oh, you have to have, to start monetizing your videos, you have to have, I think, a thousand subscribers and at least like 4,000 watch hours. But once you get there, that's passive income, baby. Um, number nine, it improves your Zoom meeting skills. All right, who's, who's working remotely right now? Leave a comment if you um, have mastered the art of Zoom meetings. I, I used to, a year ago, I didn't even know what Zoom was, and now I'm doing them like three hours a day. Um, I used to get nervous on Zoom calls. Isn't that funny? I, it's so weird. Like I was a engineer and doing all this work, like scary. But I used to be so like, I was doing, I was working on airplanes that could potentially, you know, if you don't, if you mess up, people are going to crash. But I was scared to do a Zoom meeting. And I used to be a rapper and I was scared to be on a Zoom call. Like, I don't know what that was about, but that's gone now. Thank God. So it really improves your like on the fly speaking. Um, and I'm not editing this video, so you're going to see it all. And I try not to edit my videos at all, unless the camera shuts off, knock on wood. Um, just because I like to challenge myself to keep going. So yeah, it's going to improve the heck out of your, I should say, your um, video calls, video call skills. Um, number 10, last but not least, it will grow your brand. And you might not think that you have a brand, but in this day and age, I like to think you are your brand. Your name is your brand. If you have a company, your company is your brand. If you, you should be branding yourself because um, everything is monetizable now. Everything, literally everything. Um, I was at Target the other day and I was like, I can't remember the name. So maybe the branding wasn't all the way there, but I mean, it was, I just can't remember her name. But I was in the kids section. By the way, the little girl section at Target has the cutest stuff for adult people too. Um, they had like all these, I love unicorns because I have my own company. So they had a whole bunch of like unicorn um, style backpacks and, and like boho style stuff, like more than the adult section. I love that kind of stuff. So anyway, the reason I said that about YouTube branding um, is because there's a YouTuber that has her own line at um, in the little girl section at YouTube and she got famous off of YouTube just branding herself so if you're not branding something you're missing out on passive income and since you know I tell you my channel is about achieving success and all these other things 
you should always be looking for ways to brand something or monetize something because literally you can monetize everything. And if I wasn't on here on this YouTube channel right now, I'd be thinking about, hmm, what do I want to be journaling about? So instead of just doing a journal, I'm just coming on here and making a video. You can do it. I'm doing it. You can do it too. Um, and also, you know, you could be wanting to be an influencer. You could be, oh, I already said the other one. So yeah. What are you trying to do? Leave a comment. That sounded creepy. What are you trying to do? <laughs> oh, I'm just having fun with it. It's such a beautiful day. I'm in Dallas, Texas, y'all. Who's in Dallas? Do I have anybody in Dallas here? Let me know. So yeah, those are the top 10 reasons why you and everybody you know should start a YouTube channel. Are you thinking about starting a YouTube channel? I want to know. What would your channel be about? It doesn't have to be about shit doesn't it can just be you talking it'll converge to something eventually anyway you guys thanks so much for watching this is your girl danielle have a beautiful and blessed day peace Money, 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 money